hello guys welcome to my channel so in this video we will learn what is medical chest and what is medical scale so this is a common question asked in orals and a lot of people have confusion regarding this topic so we will be going to uh, study about this topics so let us see what is medical chest so guys as the chest chest means it is basically a cupboard and this cupboard in this cupboard the medicines are kept so that is why it is called as medicine chest and what let's see what medicines it contains it contains range of medicines for most common medical emergencies so this is what the medicine chest contains now let us see what is medical scale as the word scale scale is nothing but it will decide the quantity of medicines to be carried on board so this is what the scale will decide it will decide the quantity of medicines and now let us see how this scale have been mentioned in the certificates so basically scale are mentioned like scale 1 2 3 or it can be like category a category b or category c so this is how the scales are mentioned uh, in the certificates and uh, medical certificates and uh, the flag state requirements I, it will be either men, uh, mentioned scale 1 scale 2 scale 3 or uh, in some times uh, there is also scale 4 mentioned and I other than that it, it will be mentioned category A or category B or category C so as I told you that scale is basically it it decides the quantity of medicines to be carried on board let's say for example 10 uh, tablets so this is what the quantity means so now let us go uh, into more detail regarding this scale how this scale in which factors this scale decides the quantity of medicines so basically medicine quantities this de depends on the four to decide how much quantity uh, you have to uh, put it all depends on four factors the first factor is duration of voyage so how long is the voyage and the second factor is number of persons on board because in passenger ships the medicine quantities quantities are required to be more that is why it also depends on number of persons then the third one is nature of cargo so for let's say for a dangerous cargo you need additional medicines so that is why this is also one of the factor and the fourth fourth one is destination of voyage uh, in some places there are different requirements for medicines so that is why destination of voyage is also one of the factor to decide medicine quantities for example uh, this Nigeria and all they have uh, very strict regulations regarding medicine so that is why this destination of voyage is also considered so now guys this is how the medicine quantities are uh, depending on this all four factors now guys let us go into the main topic that is the categories or it is also known as a medical scale as I have shown you that it can be category A category B or category C or it can be medical scale A 1 2 3 so both are same thing so let us start with the categories so category A so these are nothing but sea going and sea fishing vessels so all wh whoever uh, sea going ship or whatever sea, sea fishing vessels are there they are considered to be category A vessels if there is no limit on the trip for this category A but what about category B this is also for sea going and sea fishing vessels but as you can see in category A there is no limit on the trip but here in category B there is a limit on the trip if the ships are going less than 150 nautical mile from the nearest port then they will come under category B but if there is no limit if it is exceeding uh, the number then it will be considered as category A now this is basically from the nearest port now there is one more uh, clause given that is trip less than 175 nautical miles from the nearest port 
if within range of helicopter services so basically the limit is less than 150 nautical mile but if your ship is within the helicopter service range then it this 150 nautical mile can be extended to 175 nautical miles so all the sea going and sea fishing vessels which are you know, sailing uh, within 175 nautical miles so they will come under category b now let us see what is category c category c is for harbor vessels boats crafts staying close to shore so how much close to shore uh, it uh, in some uh, uh, flag state requirement it is written that close to shore means 60 nautical miles and this category c will also apply to lifeboat and life raft so if it is a category uh, c type of ship then lifeboat and life raft are also required to carry cate uh, the medicines which are mentioned in the category c so guys this is all about category a category b and category c and if it is written let's say you can also consider category a as scale 1 and category b as scale 2 and category 3 as scale 3 so either it is scale 1 scale 2 scale 3 or it is category a b c they are both the same thing so we are very much clear with the categories or you can say medical scale now let us now the based on this categories based on the categories or based on this medical scale this flag state provides the list of medicines now i will take you to the flag state requirements and i will show you how this category and scale are mentioned so guys this is ship's medicine chest which has medical scales mentioned for various flags now let's say if your ship is registered for antigua and bermuda then they have some authority and they have the document reference number that is merchant shipping uh, merchant shipping rules you can say or directive and this is date of issue and here you can see the requirements category a category b and category c so this is for let's say this antigua flag now there are further more flags for bahamas for bermuda all the requirements are written canada cyprus gibraltar then hong kong in hong kong you can see it is the it is not written category a category b it is written scale 1 scale 2 scale 3 and scale 4 like this so it all depends on the flag state requirements uh, now this part is quite important indian medical scale so if you want to go if you want to understand more regarding indian medical scale you can watch my video uh, based on indian medical scale i will be explaining more detail for the indian medical scale now as you can see this flag state requirement for isle of man liberia malaysia malta then marshall islands netherlands panama singapore Singapore has given scale 1, 2 and 3 and then UK is the last where it is category A, category B and category C. So this was basically flag state requirements for all the flag vessels. Now I will go on individual flag state requirement. Now let's see what does UK tell in its flag state requirements what all the medicines are to be carried. So this is basically UK for UK so as you can read here medical stores for vessel categories A B and C so here it is written A B C and this is the medicine name and this is recommended medicine and dosage so everything is mentioned now if it is a category A vessel she has to carry 10 uh, quantity if it is a B then she has to carry 5 this is how uh, they I uh, have decided the number or you can say quantity of medicines and here it is one thing written recommended quantity for 10 workers so it is just recommended quantity for 10 workers so if you have more workers this amount of medicines will increase 
so I have shown you the categories how how they are mentioned the number of the medicines for cardiovascular problems for gastrointestinal problems which all medicines are there like this so this is how the flag state provides the list of medicines I have shown you the flag state requirement for various flags and I have also shown the list of medicines and how much quantities are written so now guys this list of medicines or the medicines which you have on board you can say medical chest this is basically inspected yearly by authorized port health officer so it has to be inspected yearly and let us see the inspection certificate as you can see certificate of inspection by registered pharmacist so let's say if your ship is a Singapore registered ship so this is MPA Singapore name of ship basically this is part one part one contains declaration of ship details this has to be declared by the master as you can see part one is to be completed by master then part two is to be completed by registered pharmacist that is the port health officer and part three is for endorsement so uh, we have seen this part one it contains all the ship details trading area and uh, official number name of ship etc then here is the name and signature of the master and the date and here in the bottom you can see scale a scale b scale c so whether you tell scale a or you say category a they are one and the same thing and here one more thing appropriate scale for medicines in a medicine chest that is scale a is uh, applicable here so that is why scale a is written now let's see part 2 part 2 is certificate of inspection so this is basically inspection carried out by the pharmacist so it basically tells that the inspection uh, the medicines and medical equipment have been inspected and they are complying with uh, the MLC and so and so regulations so this is how it is and you can see your signature of registered pharmacist and the date and this part 3 is basically endorsement of certificate so this is how the inspection of the medical chest is carried out yearly so this was all about guys medical scale and medical chest so guys if you like this video please like subscribe and comment and if you have any doubts you can comment below guys thanks for watching